first update on what will almost inevitably be our next system in the Atlantic, Invest 91L. It's been tagged, a tropical disturbance off the coast of Honduras with 30 mile an hour winds and a pressure of 1,007 millibars. At 5pm Eastern Time this October the 5th, the storm, or the system rather, not yet a storm, located at 16.1 north, 84.4 degrees west, which puts it just north of the coast of Honduras in the Western Caribbean Sea. The system is likely to develop over the next few days as it moves off towards the northwest, currently 71 miles from Pretel Limpira, 163 from La Cieba in Honduras, 270 from Belize City, 297 from Grand Cayman, and 325 from Punta Allen in the Yucatan coast, on the Yucatan coast of Mexico. So, uh, no surprise to see that no warnings are in, in effect at the moment, but uh, it's a curious situation that we've got with two little disturbances on either side of Central America could be delivering huge amounts of rains over the next few days, although convection isn't particularly large around the system at the minute. But here's the forecast, which is what everyone wants to see at this moment in time, of what's going to become of this system. The next name in the Atlantic is going to be Michael, and this system may attain that name. You can see Leslie just off the northeastern tip of the uh, screen there. Uh, but you can see the new system moving through, slow to develop according to the latest GFS run. Uh, Midweek next week, it's going to possibly arrive on the Gulf Coast of the United States. Looks like it goes straight through in Florida there, that would appear to be, and then off towards the northeast. Uh, no doubt that all of the Gulf Coast uh, as far west as New Orleans should be watching this system as it progresses. There's the sea surface temperatures, that's not going to be a sticking point. 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius on approach to the Gulf Coast. Um, and here's another look, at looking at the wind chart now. So the greens correlate the tropical storm force winds. Leslie unmistakably up there at the top right. And again, you can see this system slow to develop according to the GFS. But by Sunday or Monday, it could be a tropical storm moving through the Gulf. Uh, and then as we get towards the later part of the week, it could become a strong tropical storm and one or two hints that maybe it could be a hurricane by the time it gets there. It reminds us a little bit of what we started the season with, I suppose. A bit like Alberto, but we'll probably start off tropical. Hey, stranger things have happened. Uh, these are the speculative chances for tropical storm force winds. Uh, these aren't based on anything more than the models. Um, and they obviously haven't been fleshed out very much, so those percentage chances could change considerably, and I'm pretty sure they will over the next few days, probably on the up in all cases. There's another look um, at the first glimpse of some of those model runs, along with the GFS that we just visualized a moment ago, and you can see how those, I think, are mainly statistical, but mainly taking it towards the north. Uh, I think one or two other models do have it curving round to the coast of Florida on the western coast, uh, but it looks like the storm's not likely to go further west than New Orleans. I don't believe I've seen anything like that on any of the model runs so far. Intensity is something that really can be argued with, though. Um, could be anywhere from low to mid tropical storm to category 1 hurricane status. Maybe even higher than that, who knows. Uh, this is how it's actually been looking in those last few frames. Uh, not very impressive at all at the minute, but it's got a 70% chance of development in the next five days from the last National Hurricane Center update. As far as I'm aware, that's still the current update. And you can just about see on the water vapor image there, the other side of Nicaragua, you can see the other system in the Eastern Pacific that could also develop, uh, but perhaps maybe it won't if this one does. We'll keep watching it closely, and I'm sure you should too. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also add force13 on Skype and fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>